Hello and welcome to a 12th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Um, I just want to start off by saying that last time it was my crappy little sister who made that goodbye message, not me. Um, and um, actually, I suppose that this tutorial is going to be about something that you might all find very interesting. This tutorial is going to be on user defined functions, but also requires some brain capacity. So, um, listen to what I say and um, create a new source file. First of all, enter the basic and um, not so brain required information. And um, now, what you're actually going to do is you're going to prototype our method. The first uh, method type we're going to learn is um, something I suppose most used actually. It's void. So what you're going to do is you're going to type v o i d void. This void is going to be um, called say cheese. I'll just put the two of these parameters and a semicolon. Um, now down here, you type void say cheese two of these parameters again. Now an opening and closing bracket. What you actually do up here is that you prototype your method, so you know it knows that okay this class is containing a void that uh, the void that's called say cheese, um, and then. It just then you break off the prototype with a um, semicolon, and you know if you just had the prototype and not this, your uh, method will have no body. You know what you type in between these two uh, parameter, uh, these two uh, opening and closing bracket is your method body, and this one up here has no method body. So that's just you know the name of the prototype. And if you have any uh, parameters, you know. Like int x, I'll teach you that later, so I'll not be messing with that in your head right now. Then you'll have to be typing that down here too. But that's unimportant for now, I'll teach you about that in the next tutorial. Anyway, now that you prototyped it and you're building the actual function now, now in, in between these two um, opening and closing brackets down here, you type C out. Cheese. Okay, so um, the only thing that this method actually does is that it says print out the screen with this cr command is cheese. So now let's try and compile and run it. We're going to save this file as um. We're going to save it as cheese. Okay, we're not. We're going to save it as um functions. Hit save button. And now, as you see, it says nothing but pause. And why is that? That's because that the say cheese method is not yet connected to the engine. So all that the engine does is to put your program on pause less than by. So now we're going to do something called calling inside our engine right here. And what do you think we're going to call? If you guessed on say cheese, you're correct. And now, how do we call it? We just say say. Okay, that sounds confusing. Say cheese two parameters and a um, semicolon and you know that's that looks exactly like the prototyping except that in prototype you type void up here too but you know if you type void then it'll think that you're going to prototype or declare a new method inside a method and you can't do that so you just type the name the parameters and if there were anything in between the parameters down here and up here you have or you would have to um to find a value to that here but um I'll not be messing with that messing with that either in this tutorial so um yep just type say cheese two parameters and a semicolon now let's try and compile and run it hit F9 and as you see it says cheese woohoo okay so um that's that's that now we're going to have a new method too. We're going to call this. Um, this is going to have the data type int. Int. Um, 
x function and now we're going to have a int right here called x which says value equal to 500 now we need to find the x function method to do that x function like we did with the say cheese method and now the body of this is going to be return x and I see my god um, you know return is you see it's a keyword because it gets because it gets colored and you know what it actually does is that you know this function will give it'll return the value of x which is 500 so if you say c out right here c out um, x function and remember these two parameters start uh, after uh, x function that the uh, Show C++ that we're dealing with the method, but remember, no semicolon, just the name right here, and these two parameters. So now it'll print out x function, and x function is an int, and what does the x function do? It returns the value of x, which is 500. So actually, if you try and go back around this, it'll say cheese and 500, and that's exactly what it thought it would, or at least what I thought it would. Now type string up here. String um now we gotta make up a name. Oh that's typical. Uh we're just going to call this um say cake. And you know as usual I don't know why why string doesn't get colored but it's a keyword just like void it. And um, now we need to define I'll declare this say cake method type string say cake so these parameters right here and now return to these quotation marks um Okay, so um, this will return a string, and you define, or you, and you show the method that it returns a string by putting these two quotation marks around it, and then the string that it returns is cake. And now you can go see out say cake and line like that. Hit a line. And now it says cheese 500 and cake. And uh, actually, I suppose that your and I suppose real quick tutorial on um, functions. Next time, I'll be teaching you about something called the uh, parameters inside your function. So, um, yep, I'll see you next time. Hope that you enjoyed my video and learned something. And, um, yep, see you.